All right, time for another beard trim video. I am going to trim my existing goatee into a Van Dyke style goatee or a Van Dyke style beard. It can be called, I guess, a few different things, Van Dyke beard, Van Dyke goatee, whatever. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the sides, leave the mustache, trim this into a V, and I'm gonna shape this just like this around here. I'll shorten this a bit here also. It's kind of a cool style. I think it looks sharp. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Also, I'm sure you've say, uh, heard me say this before, but white strips, man. Even if you have jacked up teeth or your teeth are not perfect, whitening is the best thing you can do. Okay? So whiten your teeth. I'll leave a link down below for these. I'm going to fire up this Andis trimmer. Again, I'll leave a link down below for this. You need to get one. These things are great. It's cordless, last charge lasts forever, works great, just, just get one. All right, here we go. Again, like I said, I'm going to trim this around here. There's different styles too. There's different styles I've seen where it can actually put some wings up this way. So I'm not going to do that. Obviously I don't have that, but let's give it a shot. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim my mustache. I'm going to trim my mustache probably just below, say, my upper lip line. As you can see, I haven't shaved in a couple days, which is rare, so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of bring this line come down like this. So I'm gonna just at first just slow. Little change up, I already like it already, not even done. Also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this come to a little point, I've got a little extra growth here usually a little longer than i like it but i'm going to go ahead and do a little try to make a little point here best thing you can do is is again try to shape it first Now, like I said, I'm gonna shorten the bottom a little underneath my neck. Normally I'm about two fingers above my Adam's apple, but I'm gonna go ahead and shape this bottom. Looks nice and even. Now it's really gonna pop too when I when I shave the rest of my face, so you you'll kind of notice the outlines. Again, I have salt and pepper up here, and then it goes really white and then gets a lot whiter at the bottom. But I really think I'm gonna dig this style. See how it's kind of forming a little point right here? See that? I'm gonna trim up a little soul patch area. Now you can have this with or without a soul patch. You can have the soul patch connected or disconnected. I'm gonna keep it connected.
pretty simple trim job. So I'm gonna touch up the mustache here in a minute. I'm gonna shave, put a little mustache wax on it and get back to you. I'll show you the final product. All right, so here's the finished product. Now I took a shower and I shaved to really help define the lines. I put a little mustache wax on, but also too, after you trim your beard, I'm sure after you take a shower and clean up, you get a few errant hair. So I trim those off. Now I do have this going to a point, which I really like the style. I think it's kind of a gentleman's look. I think it looks good. It looks good with glasses on. Put a pair of glasses on, night on the town, you look sharp. A little different. This style probably isn't as popular, but I think it's a kind of a Wild West look, but it's a handsome look. Also, if you're wondering what I shave with, I use tactical soap. This is great stuff. I use it on my body, use it on my head to shave my head. I use it to shave, lather up real good, get some tactical soap. Don't forget about this trimmer. It's made by Andis. All this stuff, I'll leave links down below. Again, this style is great for guys that can't connect when you're growing your goatee, when you can't connect your mustache to your beard, okay? So this kind of eliminates that. Very simple to trim it also, since you're not worried about when you do have the goatee is trimming this area, but real easy to shave around. So, but give it a shot. Use the best style that's for your face and something you like, something you enjoy. Best thing about beard growth, and beard here, you can grow it back, you can change it. I like to change it up, that's what I did. I'll talk to you soon. I'm Tony Bruno. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and on Parlor at T21Surfer.